Worshipment is our hearing God's word today. You've heard the word of God. Everything is about to pass away. The queen has already passed away. Amen. And the king will also pass away. And every one of us will pass away. West minister will pass away. Britain will pass away. But the word of God that we bring to you today will not pass away. Amen. Because in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among men. Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, He walked on the streets with sandals, with cloaks, all the way to the Calvary because we were in the mind of Jesus. He was going to die for you and I. He was willing to become the perfect sacrifice. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> King Charles is always in his car. King Charles is in his palace. He wore his garments with his crown. He would never die for you. But Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the King of Kings, the I am that I am, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega, his name is Emmanuel. God is with us. His name is Ebenezer. How far God has brought us. In him there is life. And the life was the light of man. Jesus Christ declared I am the way. The truth. And the life. Thousands of people have flocked in this place. Some of you want to sleep tonight. Because you want to see the king. But I came to tell you about the king of kings. Would you stand today to hear the word of God? You are here waiting for two days to see King Charles. But I came to announce the king of kings. In him there is life. The Bible says we have all sinned against God. Every one of us. We are all sinners. We all transgress against God's law. We are all sinners, beloved. And the Bible says the wages of sin, it is death. But the gift of God is by faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Some of you are going to swear an oath to the king. But the Bible says do not swear to any king or even under the heaven on earth. The Bible says, do not swear an oath. Do not swear an oath to any king. Neither in the heavens and on this earth. The Bible says, do not swear. Do not swear an oath to any king or any human or any throne. Even under the heaven and earth. Because God is God. The earth is the footstool of God. But the heaven is the throne of God. A throne that will not pass away. A throne that is internal throne. Jesus Christ is the King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. He came triumphant. He entered into Jerusalem. Because you are in the mind of Jesus. You are in the mind of Jesus. He walked on the streets. All his life, without any king's garments, he was wearing a cloak. He was a meek. He was a savior. He was the light of the world. He was the brightest morning star. He was the prince of peace. He is the internal life. In him there is life. And the life was the light of man. There is no one like Jesus. The King of Kings. The only Savior of the world. The King of Kings. His name is Jesus. When I say Jesus, 
I'm talking about a savior. The King Charles will not save you. There is no life in King Charles. But Jesus said, I am the life. I am the way. I am the truth. The only one that laid down his life for all mankind. Jesus Christ. He was crucified. He died for you and I. He paid the penalty of our sins with his own life. He was buried and he rose up again on the third day. Jesus Christ is alive. Until Britain recognize, until Britain acknowledge the King of Kings, the one that died, the one that was buried and resurrected again, he is alive. We have all sinned against God. The Bible says, the wages of sin, it is death. But the gift of God is by faith through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. The question is, what is sin? If you ever committed abortion, that is a sin. All lies is a sin. Same sex marriage is a sin. Rainbow, as you see today, is all fake and abomination. But the rainbow that appears in the sky is the true covenant of God. But the rainbows you have in any church, you have all around the community, is an abomination to God. The Bible says that idolatry is a sin. Practicing of lavishness is a sin. Home wandering is a sin. Unrighteousness is a sin. Gossiping is a sin. Murder is a sin. Abusing yourself with mankind is a sin. Homosexuality is a sin. An abomination to God. The Bible says all have sinned. None of us are exempt. Our righteousness, the Bible says, is like a filter right before God. The Bible says, once we were all sinners, King Charles will not die for us. But Jesus Christ died for us. He died for all of us. The Bible says, He was the Lamb of God that took the iniquities of this world. Jesus Christ, He died for you and I. He took your punishment upon Himself. He laid down his life for you and I. He was bruised. He was thongs that poked him. He bleeded on the cross. His blood was pierced with a sword. He was tortured and mocked. Even when he was tasting with water, they gave him a vinegar. He was on the cross because of you and I. Jesus Christ, whilst we were all sinners, he died for us all. The Bible says, Christ died for us. Whilst we were all sinners. Christ died for us. But Jesus did not remain dead. He resurrected again. He is alive. He is the living God. He is the bread of life. He is the living word of God. Jesus Christ is the word of God. There is no one like Jesus. A time will come. Every knee will bow. And every tongue will come first. Britain will come first. The king will come first. That Jesus Christ is the Lord. A time is coming, my friend. The Bible says every nation that forsake God, they will turn to hell. Britain has rejected God. Britain has said they rejected God. Do you know how they rejected God? They don't want to have anything to do with the word of God. They have rejected God. Britain has rejected God. They don't want to have nothing to do with the word of God. They don't want to hear the word of God. But it was the principles of the word of God that, that was used to build the values in this nation. Today when somebody committed a crime, they take him to the court, they ask them to swear on the Bible. I want to know why they ask people in the court of justice to swear on the same Bible that when I'm preaching on the street to discourage somebody not to murder, to discourage somebody not to steal, to discourage somebody not to live an ungodly life. You don't want to hear. But when they commit crime, you ask them to swear on the same Bible. Why do they want them to swear on the Bible? Why no other books? Why no other Bible? Why no other books? But the Bible, because the Bible is the truth. 
Because the Bible is the truth. Because the word of God is the truth. When somebody commits crime, they take them to prison, they take them to the court, and they ask them to swear on the word of God. Why don't you use other religious books? Because they know they are all liars. They know they are all liars. That's why the Bible says, let all men be liars. But let God be the truth. I came to testify the truth. The truth is Jesus. The truth is the word of God. The Bible says, sanctify them with thy truth. And thy word is the truth. The word of God is the truth. The word of God is a living word. The word of God is a spirit. The word of God is a living word. In the beginning was the word. It wasn't written, but in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among men. A time is coming. And I want to rephrase it again. I said the queen has died. King Charles is also going to pass away. But Jesus Christ is alive. Today you have to choose one. Who you are going to serve. God said, I said before you, death, life, curse, and life. Choose one. Are you going to choose blessings? Blessings will not save this nation. Jesus said, choose life. He is the life. He is the life. He is the life. Tomorrow, you are going to swear an oath. But God said, never swear an oath. The word of God said, do not swear an oath. You swear an oath to a man. You will give an account to God. You will give an account to God. Today, God is commanding all men everywhere today to repent. The king is not exempt. The people are not exempt. The judges are not exempt. Even the priests are not exempt. The lawyers are not exempt. The government is not exempt. The police are not exempt. Every one of us have sinned against God. And we must all repent. And turn away from our wicked ways. Turn away from our evil ways. And believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And call upon the name of the Lord. I, I, I stand here today to tell you that call upon Jesus tomorrow. Call upon Jesus tomorrow. The only king that can save you. His name is Jesus. Call upon Jesus. Call upon the king of kings. You must honor the king. The king that is above every other king. You must pay homage to the king of kings. You must give honor to Jesus. Not a man. Not a man. The Bible says, Curse is the one that put his trust in a man. The word of God stands forever. The word of God and put your faith in Jesus Christ. Only Jesus can save you. 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 Because in him there is life. King Charles cannot tell you he is the way. But Jesus Christ says, I am the way. Jesus Christ says, I am the truth and the life. He said, No one comes to the Father but is sent by him. Listen to the word of God. The Bible says, the only mediator between man and God is not King Charles. The only mediator between man and God is the King of Kings. Jesus Christ. The Bible says we have peace with God through Jesus. We don't have peace through, through coronation time. We don't have peace through the coronation. We have peace with God through Jesus, the King of Kings. The Prince of Peace. In Him there is life. Today call upon Jesus Christ. The Bible says, Seek ye the kingdom of God first. And all His righteousness. And every need. Everything shall be added unto you. Today is the day of salvation. It's no coronation. But today is the day of salvation. The Bible says today is the day of salvation it never said coronation but today is the day of repentance today is the day of repentance today is the day of salvation 
It is only by the name of Jesus that you can be saved. You see, the God of the Bible is a holy God. God is a holy God. God is the one that established kings. It is God who established kings. So who is the king? Who is the true king? Jesus established kings on earth. So he is the king of kings. In him there is life. Jesus Christ is our righteousness. God is a holy God. God hates abomination. God will not share his glory with King Charles. God will not share his glory with anybody on this earth. He remains as God. The I am that I am. The King of Kings. The Lord of Lords. The highest of the highest. There is no one like him. From generation to generation. From everlasting to everlasting. He remains as a true living God. The God of Abraham. The God of Isaac. The God of Israel. He remains as the King of Kings. The Bible says we are saved by faith. Through the grace of God. You have been reading so many magazines because of the king. You read so many newspapers about the king. Your mind is full of news. But I came to tell you about the news. Your mind is full of news. Because you're reading too many uh, uh, new magazines and newspapers. So your mind is full of news. But I came to tell you about the news. From the word of God. And that is Jesus Christ. He is the good news. He is our coronation. He is the king of kings. In him there is life. And the life is the light of man. I came to bring you glad tidings. There is no glad tidings on the day of coronation. But Christ is our glad tidings. Christ is our glad tidings. You see the kingdom of God is at hand. You cannot enter God's kingdom unless you are born again. Even when you are a king, you cannot enter the kingdom of God. Even when you are a queen, you cannot enter the kingdom of God unless you are born again. How can you be born again? Unless you are sincere with God. Unless you admit that you are a sinner. Unless you admit that you have been rebellious and repent from your sins and turn away from your sins and confess your sins to Jesus. Ask him to forgive you your sins and accept him in your heart as your savior and your Lord. He will give you the spirit of the Holy Spirit. It is a precious gift. It's called the Holy Spirit for you to become born again. You can be a king tomorrow, but you know you are not guaranteed to enter heaven unless you repent. Unless you become born again. You can enter into Buckingham Palace by permission. But the kingdom of God is under incorruptible. Anything that is corrupt cannot enter the kingdom of God. We are all corrupt because of sin. We are all corrupt because of sin. We've all tested positive of sin. And the cure is no vaccine. The cure is the power in the blood of Jesus. The cure is the power in the blood of Jesus. It is only by the blood of Jesus your sins can be washed away. It is only by the blood of Jesus every unrighteousness can be washed away. It is by the blood of Jesus. Because there is power in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. You might know many names in this world. You might know the names of kings. You might know the names of celebrities. But I came to tell you the only name that can save your soul is the name of Jesus. There is no power in any king. But there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. It was Jesus that died for all of us. Today you are all here to gather to see a king. But a king did not die for you. The king does not even care about you. But Jesus died for you. Because he loves you. Because God is love. Because God is love. God is love. And God loves you. And God prove it. 
he demonstrated it through his beloved son jesus on the cross at the calvary god demonstrated his love towards all of us the words we were sinners christ died for us he was buried and he rose up again on the third day jesus christ is alive jesus christ is alive he is the king of kings and the lord of lords from the time of the israelites he said let my people go that they may worship me he said let my people go that they may worship me stop worshiping man stop worshiping man it's idolatry worship god the bible says a time will come and the time is now that the true worshipers they will worship me in truth and in spirit stop worshiping man stop bowing for man but you must call upon the king of kings the god that created the heaven and earth his name is jesus there's no one like jesus christ there is no one like jesus all power belongs to jesus all power belongs to jesus all power belongs to jesus all glory belongs to jesus all power belongs to jesus jesus christ is the king of kings there is no one like jesus he is the way the truth and the life listen to me my friend the time is now no king will die for you your queen has passed on the king will also pass on everyone will pass on but jesus is alive he remained as the king of kings his throne is from everlasting to everlasting jesus throne is everlasting to everlasting from generation to generation he was before the foundation of the world he was before the foundation of the world he is the king of kings my friend today do not waste time do not harden your hearts but rather repent and turn away from your wicked ways rather repent and forsake your wicked ways and put your faith in jesus the bible says we are saved by faith through the grace of god and not by your works no one can boast only jesus died for us listen to me the king cannot even say it is finished king charles cannot say it is finished but jesus declared he said father it is finished he was jesus that said father forgive them for they don't know what they're doing king charles cannot say those words jesus said it is finished he said father it is finished he said father it is finished it was finished on the cross your savior jesus the only hope for britain the only hope for the whole world is jesus christ jesus christ of nazareth when thomas saw jesus he said my lord and my god i came to declare to britain that jesus christ is my lord and he is my god he is my savior the holy hope of the world in him there is life the bible said what is the profit for you to gain the whole world and lose your soul this world does not work our soul the world does not work our soul you see the number of you see millions of pounds they are spending for a throne for a king millions of pounds but you see jesus christ he said come and eat without money he said come and buy without money salvation is free jesus to come to him is free the gospel is free he said come and buy without money come and eat without money because it is free but you are spending millions of pounds to put a king on the throne thousands of pounds to put a king on the throne but jesus said it is free jesus said it is finished he paid all our debts he paid all our debts on the cross today the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to us it is the power of god the bible says we know that we are of god 
But the whole world lies in wickedness. You see, God is angry with the wicked every day. God is angry with the wicked every day. There is wickedness behind the scene. Not what you are looking at. Not what you are cherishing. But there is wickedness behind the scene. The Bible says the heart of men are desperately wicked. And corrupt. And deceitful. Who knows the heart of men? King Charles does not know what is happening in the heart of men. Neither do you know what is happening in his heart. The heart of men are desperately wicked. Even your doctor cannot examine wickedness. The doctor cannot examine what is sin. Except Jesus. Except Jesus. Except Jesus. Who knows the Bible says. Who knows the heart of men. Your doctor can catch your body. He can operate your body, but he cannot know what is sin. Doctor can catch your body, operate you, but he does not know what is sin. Sin is invisible to your doctor. But I came to tell you about a true doctor. I came to tell you about a true physician. A physician that saves and he heals and he redeems. His name is Jesus. I declare to you Jesus. I declare to you Jesus. I exhort the name of Jesus Christ. The King of Kings. And the Lord of Lords. My friend. The Bible says fear God. And obey his commandments. Fear God. Everybody obeys the laws of the land. But you don't obey God's word. The meaning of the Bible. Is basic instructions. Before you leave the earth. Basic instructions. Before you leave the earth. Do you know God? Today. Many people tell me. There is no God. But I came to tell somebody tonight. How can you say there is no God? How can you say it's only, it's only a myth? You know what? If I'm eating apple right now. Can you tell me how it tastes in my mouth? If I'm eating apple, can you tell me how the apple tastes in my mouth? The Bible says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste Jesus before you tell me he is not real. Taste Jesus. Taste and see, the Bible says, that the Lord is good. God is a good God. God is a good God. That's what the Bible says. For God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him. Should not perish. But have everlasting life. God is a good God. God hates sin. God hates wickedness. God hates every abomination. That is taking place. Because God is a holy God. There is no one like God. He created the heaven and earth. He created man in his own image. But we don't look like God anymore. We don't look like God anymore. Because of sin. Before you can look like God. You must come through Jesus. Because he is the, 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 the image of the invisible God. We don't look like God anymore. But if you want to look like God. You must come through Jesus. The Bible says this is, this is life internal. That you might know the only true God and Jesus Christ. That you must know the only true God and Jesus Christ. We don't look like God. But God created us in his own image. He created us in his own image. But we don't look like God. We've all tested positive of sin. Because of sin we don't look like God. Because of sin, we don't look like God anymore. Our nature, everything does not look like God. Today we have people that, that, that they call them neutralists. They go naked during summertime. Men go naked, women go naked. And they got the police supporting them, barricading them. The Bible says, warn to you that you call what is evil as good. Warn to you that call what is evil as good. Every nation that forsake God will go to hell. If you die without Jesus, you will go to hell. 
if you die without Jesus, you will go to hell. And hell will be cast into the lake of fire. The Bible says it is appointed unto all men to die once and there will be judgment. What does that mean? It means you will not live forever. It is appointed unto all men to die once and there will be judgment. It means you will not live forever. There is time. God has placed an expiry date on your life. Even all the products in the shops. If you buy any product in the shop, it has an expiry date. Everything they sell in the shop today, it has an expiry date. Everything in the shop has an expiry date. And God has placed an expiry date upon you. He said it is appointed unto men to die once and there will be judgment. So there is an expiry date on everybody. But I came to tell you, don't die without Jesus. Don't die in your sin. Rather repent and turn away from your wicked ways. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ that you might be saved. The time is running out. We are all going to die one day, man. We are all going to die one day. Your soul is not worth the world. The Bible says, what is the profit for you to get in the whole world and lose your soul? This world does not worth your soul. God did not compare your soul with your money. Neither your wealth. Neither to the back, back here palace. But he compared your soul with the whole world. So your soul is bigger than the world. The world does not wet your soul. Your soul is bigger than the whole world. The Bible says, a soul that sinned shall die. Every soul that sinned shall die. Because the day you die, it means you return to the dust. But your soul is immortal. It will come out of you. Your soul will stand before God. And God is going to judge you. Do you know Jesus? When I tell you Jesus is coming, it doesn't move you. It doesn't bother you. That's exactly what they did in the days of Noah. They were drinking, smoking, getting married, having sex publicly, addiction, lawlessness, until they were all destroyed with flood. Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall be the coming of Jesus Christ. Amen. Sodom and Gomorrah, they were practicing lawlessness. Yes. The Bible says God saw Sodom as a corrupt people. Yes. They are so wicked people. Yes. And you know what Jesus said? He said our generation is an evil generation. A trust generation. They were all destroyed with flood. Jesus is coming. Jesus is returning. Are you ready somebody? If the meteorologists have to tell you about the adverse weather condition, I bet you are going to prepare for it. When the meteorologist tells you about the weather adverse condition, you will get ready and prepared. If they tell you about any condition, but I came to tell you that Jesus is coming. Jesus is returning. Jesus is returning. He is coming. You see, today there are bodyguards on the streets. Security. But you know what? The day the king will die, it will be between him and God. Today you have bodyguards. You have police with arms. But Jesus has no bodyguards. Even when Peter cut somebody's ears, Jesus said, put your son back. Don't you know my father can command angels to fight for me? You see, the God of the Bible, we don't fight for him. He can fight for himself. He's a mighty man in battle. Whatever you're doing is in the Bible. People like him is written in the Bible. They close their ears. They don't want to hear the word of God. But nothing can hear the word of God. God said his word will not come back void. You see, tonight we might end up living tonight, but the word of God is going to remain with you. We will live tonight, but his word will remain with you all. We want to tell you tonight that God loves you. God so loved the world. God loves you. And he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. 
fear God, Britain, and obey his commandment. For the judgment of God is at hand. God is going to judge all of us. We will all stand before God. We will stand before God. Woe unto you. And every nation that forsake God. The Bible says it's only a fool that says in his heart there is no God. A fool said in his heart there is no God. Everything you see today, they will all pass away. Everything is about to pass away. The coronation will pass away. The king will pass away. But the word of God will not pass away. A time is coming. The day you die, the same word you reject will judge you. Because that word is Jesus. The word you are rejecting today is going to judge you. The Bible says this is condemnation. The light has come into the world. But men love darkness rather than light because their deeds are evil. I came to tell you about the true light. The true light is Jesus Christ. You can have light in your home but you are still blind. You have light in your home but there is nobody at home because you are dead spiritually. Without Jesus Christ, you are still blind. But Jesus Christ is the true light. And the light will shine and darkness will not comprehend. Jesus is the true light. And the light will shine and darkness will not comprehend. We want to testify to the people at Westminster that tomorrow is your coronation day. But I came to tell you today is the day of salvation. You don't even know when you will die today. Some people can walk. Some people are here tonight. Anything can happen to you. Death is inevitable. Life is very short. You can walk around here tonight. You can have a liver problem. You can have stroke. You can have heart attack. Anything can happen. So we must be ready at all times. But are you ready for the coming of Jesus? If you die today, where would you go? For you go for you to go to heaven, you must come through Jesus. For you to go to heaven, you must come through Jesus. There are no multiple ways to heaven. There are no multiple ways to heaven. There is only one way. Jesus said, I am the door. There are many doors in this world, but all of them lead to destruction. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. But narrow is the way that leads to life. There seems to be many ways in this world. But Jesus Christ is the only way. There are many doors in this world. But Jesus Christ is the door that leads to eternal life. He said, I am the door. If anyone comes in, they shall be saved. All the religions that go through the window, the Bible said they are thieves. Today you said, you said Jesus is a prophet. And that's why you don't believe. That's right. You said Jesus Christ is only a prophet. And that's why you don't believe. But all the prophets, you are even fighting people because of your prophets. That your prophet is dead. All the prophets, even from the days... Okay. of the word of God Come on. they all died yeah. and remained dead okay. you said Jesus is a prophet that's why you don't believe tell me any prophet you know who died and resurrected there is no one but Jesus died he was buried and he rose up again on the third day Jesus Christ is God he is God. He is the eternal life. Without Jesus, you will perish. Without Jesus, you will perish. A lot of people love to love to do selfie. Today we live in a world of selfie. Everybody want to look in the mirror to check how they look. And then you have your final judgment by the mirror. Oh, the mirror tells you. The mirror has no final say. Your selfie has no final say, but Jesus has the final say. Oh, yes. 
The mirror has no fairness in your face. The mirror tells you how you look like, but the mirror has no fairness in. Your selfie has no fairness in. But Jesus has the fairness in. Because he tells what is in your heart. Jesus knows the heart of men are desperately wicked and deceitful. The Bible says, who knows? Today, young girls are giving their heart to men. And a young man giving their heart to women. And in return, everybody you speak to today in our generation, they have broken hearts. But Jesus said, I've come to heal the broken hearts. So why don't you give your heart to Jesus? Why don't you give your heart to God? Why don't you love God with all your heart? Why don't you love God with all your soul? Why don't you love God with all your might? So you can end up loving your neighbor. But you are giving your heart to men and women. And in return they give you broken hearts. Look around the world. The world is broken. The world is confused. You see a young boy say, Mommy, I feel like I'm a girl. You see a young girl say, Mommy, I feel like I'm a boy. And the mommy say, We have no choice. We need to support our daughter. That is an abomination. Satan is the altar of confusion. Satan is a lesbian. Satan is a rumble of energies. But a true rumble, it comes from the sky. That is a covenant. It's a covenant that God made with his people of God. Fear God. Fear God and obey his commandments. Give reference to God. Give reference to God. The Bible says, teach your child the way of the Lord. All the parents are busy. They're taking their children to holiday. You think you are showing them love. Do you know what is true love? True love is not taking your children to holidays and, and laying down in the sun. And my son come by and he got tan. You got tan because you've been, you've been in, in the beach. I, I had a tan. I took my son to the holiday. It's not tan. You think that's what God is looking for? True love is raising your child with the word of God. True love is training your children the way of God. It's a basic instruction before you leave the earth. Do you know what is child abuse? When a parent disciplines their children, you say that is a child abuse. But child abuse is not teaching your children the way of the Bible. That is child abuse. Spiritual neglect is a child abuse. Yes, it's true, Baba. Parents that neglect the word of God and that raise their children in the way of God, they are child abuse. You don't show your children love. True love is not buying them bicycles. True love is not buying them tablets. Today, look, children cannot sit in a push chair without holding phones in their hand. Look, what? Well, listen, around 1972, 1976 75 when babies are born their eyes are closed even to seven days before they see but today when a baby is born the same day their eyes are open is because of sin because of sin when a baby is born today their eyes are open the very first day but 30 years ago when a baby is born their eyes are closed for seven days before their eyes begin to open but because of sin when a baby is born their eyes are open the very day sin sin because of sin sin baby's eyes are open the very first day because of sin we've all tested positive of sin and the vaccine is the blood of Jesus the vaccine is the blood of Jesus the vaccine is the blood of Jesus. The vaccine is an abomination. The Bible says our body is the temple of God. And it's a sanctuary of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said if you want to follow him, you must deny yourself. You must take your cross and follow him. The Bible says we must endure to the end. Persecution will come. But we are ready. You know what the Bible says? It said we are like a slaughter before the sheriff. We are killed every day before the eyes of the world. We are killed every day before the eyes of the world. We are like a slaughter. 
What is death? Jesus said if you die and you believe in him, you will live again. Because he is the Lord of the resurrection. When Jesus saw Martha, when Jesus saw Miriam, he saw Mary Madeline, he said, Lord, if you would have come early, my brother will not die. But Jesus said to him, he is only sleeping. He will rise again. And Mary said to Jesus, yes, I know on the resurrection day. But Jesus said, I am the Lord of the resurrection. Jesus was passing by a place called Jericho. Come on. Today I am studying at Westminster. Yes. The gospel is passing by Westminster. Yes. When Jesus passed by Jericho, yes. the Bible says a man heard about Jesus. Yes. And his name is Zacchaeus. Hallelujah. When Zacchaeus heard about Jesus, is passing by Jericho. Zacchaeus went to see Jesus. Today, Jesus is passing by Westminster. Amen. Are you hasty to see Jesus? Amen. Are you ready to receive Jesus? Amen. Jesus is passing by Westminster. Amen. God bless you, sister. Praise, you, God. Praise, God. You. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. When Jesus passed by Jericho, Zacchaeus was hasty to see Jesus. But guess what? Yes. The Bible says he was very short in stature. Hallelujah. So he could not see Jesus because of the crowd. But listen, I don't know what is stopping you to see Jesus. I don't know what is stopping you to see Jesus. I don't know what is stopping you to see Jesus. Zacchaeus could not see Jesus because he was very short. He was very short. He could not see Jesus. But he decided to make an alternative to climb the sycamore tree so that he can see Jesus. Zacchaeus climbed the sycamore tree so he can see Jesus Christ. Are you going to make an alternative to see Jesus? Are you going to find a way to see Jesus? Don't allow your religion to stop you. Don't allow your religion to stop you. Zacchaeus did not allow the people, the crowd of the people to stop him. He climbed the sycamore tree so he can see Jesus. What is stopping you today to come to Jesus? Come to Jesus. What is stopping you to come to Jesus? Hallelujah. Zacchaeus did not allow anything to stop him. No what is stopping you to come to Jesus? No, no, come. But when Jesus saw Zacchaeus, Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down. Today, I must dine with you in your house. Hallelujah. Do you understand that? I must dine with you in your house. Do you know what that is? Jesus said, I want to come into your hearts. I must dine with you in your house. I am coming to your hearts. Today, Jesus wants to come into your hearts. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus. For the time is a time. Give your life to Jesus. Give your heart to Jesus Christ. Zacchaeus, I must come to your home. Jesus wants to come into your heart. He wants to be your savior and your Lord and your God. Would you allow Jesus in your heart? Hell, Satan will not save you. Witchcraft will not save you. Divination will not save you. Hell, Satan will not save you. Being a gothic will not save you. Even if you are part of Black Lives Matter, will not save you. Hare Krishna will not save you. No. Hinduism will not save you. No. Black Lives Matter will not save you. No. But Jesus will save you. Hallelujah. Because he is a savior. You can be part of any group you like. That does not make you a new creature. Even if they make you a king today. You are not a new creature. Even if they make you. Even a nation of the people make you a king tomorrow. You are still not born again. Hallelujah. They can make you a king. But you are not a new creature. Hallelujah. You must be born again. 
Hallelujah. to become a new creature. Glory, glory. All things are passed away and you become a new creature. They can make you a king and clothe you with everything, but you are still not a new creature. They can make you a king and clothe you, but you are still not a new creature. They can bow to you. They can celebrate you today. But heaven is not celebrating. Tomorrow by this time, the whole Britain is about to celebrate a king. But heaven is silence. The only time heaven rejoices is when a soul repents and turns from their sins. You are about to celebrate and rejoice the king, but heaven is shut. Heaven is silent. Even if you celebrate your birthday, your coronation, heaven is still silent. With all these people standing here, heaven is silent. But when the soul repents and turns from their sins, heaven rejoice and the host of heaven rejoice. Repent. Repent. And turn away from your sins. You can celebrate your coronation, but heaven is quiet. Heaven is silence, Britain. Britain, heaven is silence. The Bible says, if my people that are called by my name, if they will humble themselves, if they will pray and repent, I will heal them. Heaven is silence. You are celebrating coronation of your king, but heaven is quiet. Heaven is silence. The only time heaven rejoices is when a soul repents and, and turns from their sins and put their faith in Jesus. Heaven rejoices. And the Bible says the host of heaven rejoices and give glory and honor to the king of kings. A time is coming. You will bow. Every knee will bow. And every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Train your children the way of the Lord. It's a child abuse if you don't train your children the way of the Bible. Hallelujah. True love is not taking your children to holiday, taking them to cinema, spending money on them. True love is teaching your children the way of the Lord. True love is teaching your children the way of the Lord. Today our children are confused. A young boy says, Mommy, I feel like I'm a girl. A young girl says, Mommy, I feel like I'm a boy. The generation is confused. God never created same-sex marriage. God created male and female. God honors marriage. Not same-sex marriage. God honors marriage. God honors marriage. Satan is the God of confusion. God created male and female. But today women are trying to be men, men trying to be women. That is a confusion from the devil. It's a lie from the devil. Woe to you that call what is evil as good. Woe to a nation that call what is evil as good. Today, because of sin, your prime minister is Hindu. Britain. What is happening to Britain today? The Bible says, all Galatians, who has bewitched you? All Galatians, who has bewitched you? Britain is full of Islamic today. Britain is full of Islamic religion. Oh, Britain, who has bewitched you? Look at King James Bible. Look at King James. It was sponsored by King James, a king of Britain. Britain is a Christian nation. It's not Sharia law. It's not a Sharia law. It's not Hinduism. It's a Christian nation. But because of sin, the Prime Minister is Hindu. What is happening to Britain today? What is happening to Britain today? Is there no Prime Minister anymore in Britain? What is happening? Because of sin, your prime minister is Hindu. He never gave home to God. He brought idols to the White House. Idols to the House of Commons. Britain has rejected the God of the Bible. Britain has rejected the God of the Bible. Everybody said, God bless the Queen. I wonder which God. 
which God is Britain talking about? God bless the queen. Are you talking about the God of this world or the God of the Bible that you rejected? God bless the queen. Which God? Is it the God of the Bible or the God of this world? People are preaching, they don't want to hear God's word. They don't want to hear the word of God. But they follow religion. Britain is sitting fat on religion. And religion cannot say Britain. Only Jesus. Before, 100 years ago, it's called Great Britain. It used to call Great Britain because they were working with God. It is to call Great Britain because they put their faith in the God of the Bible and it prospered the nation. But today they turn away from God. It's no longer Great Britain. It's a religious nation. Repent Britain and turn away from your wicked ways. Jesus Christ is the savior of Britain. Jesus is the only hope for Britain right now. Not your prime minister, not your king. But the king of kings and the lord of lords. Amen. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Praise the living God. Praise to the king of kings. Jesus, the almighty God. The I am that I am. The omega.